chameleons, it's me Camille and today I'm bringing you this glowy fall makeup look which is perfect for if you just want to get a little bit dolled up during the fall but you don't want to go too crazy and maybe you have green hair so you don't want to put too many colors on or maybe you're afraid of color, whatever it is. If you want to have some flaky liner and some glowy skin, this is definitely the look for you. So let's get into it. All right, so once your hair is all out of your way, it is time to moisturize. This is the Essence Prettifying Lip Oil, and I've been using this stuff a lot lately. It's very moisturizing, and it has jojoba oil in it, so it just really kind of coats your lips with this nice moisturizing layer, and it's pretty light too, so it does sink into your lips. To start, I'm going to prime my face, that way the makeup doesn't go anywhere. See how I like paused between spraying so I could talk so it didn't spray in my mouth? That's how you do it. Now I still don't have a perfect foundation, but I love the Maybelline Fit Me ones and I'm using a combination of 320 and 322. I don't think they make a 321. I don't know if they do and if they do then that's what I need to do because I'm like halfway between these. So if anyone my color is out there watching, let me know what color you are in foundations found a perfect one so I can just copy you and I have a damp beauty blender so I'm gonna mix those two shades together on the back of my hand and then place it all over my face and I've been breaking out lately like crazy so I'm really just trying to cover up this crazy acne which I have been changing up my skincare routine to fix that changing up my diet so I'm really working on getting my skin back to a more healthy state, but until then, I'm just going to try my best and stipple to mask the craziness. <laughs> so if you're into arts and crafts, this should be fun. I have this contour palette from Ofra, and you can mix together shades to get your perfect like highlight and contour. So I like to mix this medium one that's kind of my color with the yellow, which is a lot lighter, and together it makes a really good highlight. So what I do is I go one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna place that here as well. Then I'm gonna take the darker shade and let's do a bit of sculpting. Since this brush is pretty flat, I'm also going to bring this along the sides of my nose to contour that. And then I'm going to use the light shades to highlight the bridge. I'm going to use just this and go around my mouth with that. Now I'm going to go in with the same beauty blender that still has a little bit of my other foundation on it. And I'm just gonna blend that out. Just stipple it all over the place and blend it together. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer just because my face is being freaking crazy and breaking out so much. So I'm gonna put that on my finger and then dab it onto the problematic areas. Can it blend? I'm not gonna put my face in a blender, but I know you guys know that reference. Come on, God, please, just give me perfect skin. That's all I ask for. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick, and this is pretty much just a shimmery kind of bronze color. So I'm gonna use this to bronze up my face. And then I'm gonna add a little bit up here because it's nice and shimmery and bronzy. And now I'm gonna use Beam Team by Essay Edit, which is really interesting because I originally thought that it was just this, like you flip up the bottom and then there's a solid illuminating stick down here. But I just realized that there's also a twist off thing so you can squeeze the liquid version of that out. So I'm gonna be putting a little bit of that out on my finger, just a tiny pea size. Actually, peas are not this small. 
Like, imagine a miniature pea. A Barbie pea. And dot it along my cheekbones. So this is going to give a really nice natural looking glow since it is a cream product. Might as well put a little bit down the bridge of my nose. Hmm, I wonder what to do next. Make sure you use a beauty blender damp though so that it really kind of gets your stuff blended and makes your skin look like skin. Then I'm going to blend this out as well. Don't forget up here. Voila. Ooh, look at that. Ah, the light is really doing me good right now. <sighs> this product with its solid form and its liquid form and the dual purpose. Amen. Thank you. All right, so the fun has come to an end, so now it is time for powder products. Don't forget to set. You don't want all of your hard work creaming all over the place to just go to waste and move around and melt off your face. If you don't set it, that's what will happen. Using my fave banana powder. I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals Powder Foundation and I'm in the shade Teak 22 for all of you caramel cuties out there who are similar colors to me. This IT Cosmetics brush is so fluffy I wanna die. <laughs> And it just feels so good on your skin. Kind of fluff that everywhere. Make sure everything is powdered. Uh -huh. Not going crazy with the blush, so I'm just using Bali by Cargo. It's just a nice pink. It's also water resistant, which is great because I cry a lot. Now this might be a little bit extra, but now that I actually have a contour shade that I like after like two years of searching, Half-Hearted by Makeup Geek, I'm gonna go in and uh, sculpt a little something something out, you know, as you do. Now don't worry, I'm saving the powder highlight for last because it's just gonna be too reflective the whole video. So I'm starting with my favorite eye primer. And I'm going to sculpt out a crease using Cappuccino by Jouer, which is just a perfect brown. I like to kind of tilt my head back so you can really see the crease and just build it up a little bit. And I'm going to kind of triangle that out at the corner just a little bit, just bringing it back home. So let's get a blend in. I'm telling you guys, this is the perfect brown. And now that it looks really soft, I'm gonna add my lid color Toffee, which is also by Jouer. It has a slight shimmer to it, but it's pretty much just a toffee color as it's called. And you wanna blend those together so they look soft together. I'm gonna go back in with Cappuccino and just smudge a little bit of that on my lower lash line. Give them that smolder. Here comes the smolder. And now for fun, we're gonna bronze it up a little bit with NYX Baked Eyeshadow in Nebula. Now it's going on the center of the lid to add more dimension. And this is just gonna make your lids look a little bit more 3D and a little more fun. I'm gonna smudge a little bit of that on the lower lash line as well, just to soften up the brown a little bit. Gonna add a little bit of liner. Gonna use black liner for the borderline. For the top, I'm gonna use this Girlactic liner that has a very tiny tip. It's called the Precise Beauty Liner because, I don't know, maybe it's precise. What do you think? Comment down below what your favorite eyeliner pen is. Any felt or brush tip or else you're disqualified. Wow, this is really precise. This is the first time I'm using it, but golly gee, I am amazed. I could cut a pizza with this. Guess they don't call it precise liner for nothing. So this shape that I've chosen is very thin on the inside and then heavy on the outside and sharp. 
So I'm gonna use this little peak eyebrow duo and this is Natural Stain Brow Powder and it's in the shade Espresso. And no, I am not one of the people who pronounce espresso as expresso, but that's literally how it is spelled, E-X-Presso. So this is all Peak's doing. Morphe B11 coming in. And then brush that out. I'm gonna do some light highlighting with the Ofra blush strips. And I'm just gonna use the middle too. I'm gonna use these Ardell lashes because they're pretty. Because they're called the Olivia's and my little sister's name is Olivia. Shout out to my girl OJ. So these lashes are very different from what I normally use because of their gradient. So when I look up, you can see that it really kind of mimics the way that I winged my liner. So it's thin on the inside and then thick. So these are very short on the inside and they get larger and then larger. So it's kind of like a winged lash. I also decided I'm gonna take the Galactic liner and just kind of add a point on the inside. So it'll look like this. So now I hope you're ready, but this is the fun part. This is the product of the day. This is the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. And you guys have seen me use this a thousand times. This is the Ofra shimmer strips, but this gold down here is my absolute favorite. And they pretty much realized that, hey, that's the best part of the shimmer strips. Let's take it out, amp it up, and do a whole product just using that. And that's what Rodeo Drive is. So we finna get golden. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Oh my glob. Just brushed on top of where we did the dewy highlight, and man, that is beautiful. You ready? Look. My skin just looks gold. I wish my skin color was actually just gold. That's pigmented. And I'm going to put that on the very tip of my nose and then down the bridge. Then we're gonna carefully add some to the inner corner, which I realize I should have done before adding the wing. Is it still called a wing if it's on the inner corner? These are the questions that plague our generation. For lips, I'm using a Bare Minerals Matte Lipstick in Weekend. I'm just gonna add a little bit of gloss and this is called Popular, also by Bare Minerals. And I just wanna give it a little bit of a shine, a little bit of a sheen, so that's why I'm putting it on top. I'm gonna put some Rodeo Drive onto my Cupid's bow. And then all that's left to do is just set your face. So that's it for this fall glam, glowy makeup look. So anyways, I hope you guys like this look. If you try it out, Tag me on social media, I would love to see your glowing faces. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, as well as my vlog channel and my cooking channel, which are linked down below. But that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.